Hi there Tech Savvy Seniors. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an email account with Gmail. We will learn how to do this directly from our iPhone. No computer needed. So the first thing we want to do for this tutorial is we need to unlock our iPhone. We will swipe up on the bottom center of the screen, on the lock screen, to unlock our iPhone. The next step that we need to take is to select the mail app. It looks like a white envelope within a blue square. That is the icon. So again, you can create a Gmail account on a computer, using the internet on your phone, or directly within this application. So we will select the mail app. Here we have to select the service or email server that we would like to set up. For this tutorial, we are going to set up a Gmail account with Google. So we need to select the Google option. It says mail you wants to use google.com to sign in. Basically, it's asking us if we want to use the internet through this app to sign up for Gmail. We want to hit continue. So now, if you have an account with Gmail, you could enter that email here, but we are creating an account with Gmail. So we are going to select the Create Account option. Next, we need to tell Gmail our name. So our first name is going to be Tech Savvy. And our last name will be Seniors. Hit the next button. Now it wants to know your birthday and gender information. And it's important that you don't lie here because this could be used in the future to verify that you are the correct account owner if you get locked out. So we're going to do a random birthday here to set this up. And we are going to input our gender. Then we will hit the next button. So here, Google has actually suggested some email addresses to get us started. Or we can create our own Gmail address. Let's see. Seniors Tech Savvy at gmail.com. That's actually a pretty good option. Then they've got techsavvyseniors4 at gmail.com. Hmm, let's create our own Gmail address. All right. So if we type in the tech savvy seniors, let's just try it in singular form first and see if this email address is available. If the email address is already taken, Google will notify us by highlighting it and telling us to select another available email address. Let's check it. Hit the next button. Uh-oh, that username is taken. Let's try something else. We are going to tap in the email address where we have the Tech Savvy Senior written here. And we will go down to our keyboard using the backspace button here. And we will delete this and come up with a new name. Or again, we have these available options up top. Let's try the Tech Savvy Senior tutorials 
at gmail.com. So I want to check my spelling. This is a pretty long name, just to make sure I've got it right. The Tech Savvy Senior Tutorials at gmail.com. All right. So we are going to hit the next button to see if this name is available. Great. Okay, it accepted that name. So now we can create a password. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to look around my room and see um, what things I can put together to create kind of a strong password for this account. You do not want to use anything that someone could associate with you. For example, your birthday, your name, the name of a loved one, the birthday of a loved one. You want your password to be truly random, but something you can remember. All right, let's see, I've got a can of Mountain Dew. I've got a Logitech mouse. So I'm gonna combine these things and call my password Logi, half of the Logitech mouse name. So I'm gonna capitalize this, L-O. And it's good to throw a capital letter in there from time to time. Again, that helps the strength of your password. You wanna make a mix of um, letters uh, and numbers and potentially even characters. So we're going to capitalize the D in there as well. Logi do. And then I'm going to put some random numbers. All right, nine, let's say seven, four, three. And then I am going to put a character here on the end and we'll let's say use a money sign there. So you want to record this um, password so that you do not forget it. You want to write this down on a sheet of paper. Uh, make sure obviously it's nowhere that someone else can find it or access it. It's very important that you keep this password secure only for yourself. Okay, so now that you have created a password, we will hit the next button. Okay, now Google actually wants us to add a phone number. This is not required, but it does help secure the device. For example, if you forget your password or get locked out, Google can use the phone number that you input here to validate that it is you trying to access your account. We are actually going to skip this step for now, but it is important and I would suggest that you do put your phone number here in this box. Okay, review your account info. All right, the Tech Savvy Seniors. And then our Gmail address is the Tech Savvy Senior Tutorials at gmail.com. We're gonna hit the next button. This is the Google Terms of Service Agreement for activating your email account. You want to use your finger and scroll to the bottom of the screen to find the I agree button here in blue. We will press that. Okay, so again, we have created a new Gmail account right within the mail application on our iPhone. It has now brought us back into the mail application and it is asking us if we want to sync mail, contacts, and calendars with this Google account. We do want to keep these on, and this is good because uh, it actually syncs that information to your phone. We will hit save. Okay, here, it is asking us about mail privacy protection. I would always advocate that you protect your online identity. So we are going to select protect my mail identity here and then hit continue. 
All right, we now have set up our Gmail account. If we hit the mailboxes button in the upper left hand corner of our phone, it will take us to see all of our inboxes. Currently, we only have one email inbox set up, so we will only see the Gmail inbox. With the iPhone, you can actually set up multiple email accounts, all to pull in within this application on the iPhone. To exit the Mail app, swipe up from the bottom middle of the screen. So from your home screen, if you need to access your email in the future, you simply tap the Mail app. Oh look, we have two new emails. So again, if we tap our Inbox icon here, it will take us into the email inbox. And here you can see Google has actually sent us two emails telling us about the new account that we have set up. So this account is now ready to receive and send emails. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos from the Tech Savvy Senior.